Elmore Smith, Kentucky State University. Elmore Smith was the seven-foot anchor for Kentucky State's back-to-back NAIA National Championship teams in 1970 and 71, and he was named to the all-tournament team in both years. In his three-year career at Kentucky State, he scored 1,813 points and had 1,917 rebounds. He still holds the collegiate all-divisions record for rebounds in a season with 799 rebounds in 1971. As a freshman, he averaged 14.7 points and 19.8 rebounds. As a sophomore, he put up 21.6 points and 22.7 rebounds per game. In his final season, he put up astonishing numbers by averaging 25.5 points, 24.2 rebounds, and 8.1 blocks per game. He was named second team All-American as a sophomore and first team All-American as a junior. Elmore was named to the NAIA's 50th and 75th anniversary teams and was also inducted into the Georgia Hall of Fame. After his junior season at Kentucky State, he was selected as the third overall pick in the NBA draft by the Buffalo Braves. Elmore Smith, Kentucky State University, and inductee into the 2017 class of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame. Thank you, and it's an honor to uh, be inducted into the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame. <clears throat> I especially appreciate this honor because of my love for the game of basketball and what it's given me. Reflecting back over the years, basketball has given me uh, so much. It has opened doors uh, that I never knew existed, and it's given me opportunities to develop relationships that still exist to this day. Uh, I have relationships with not just my college teammates, but professional ball players throughout the, the country, and it's amazing how long those relationships uh, have lasted. My journey into basketball began my last year in uh, high school, when due to a sudden growth spurt, I grew over the summer from 5'11 to 6'6, from 6'6 to 7 feet. And when I returned to school, my high school principal approached me and threatened me and said, listen, if you don't go out for the basketball team, we're going to kick you off campus. <clears throat> and uh, so I, I, I did. I went out for basketball, but I learned that being tall doesn't mean that you automatically knew how to play basketball. I learned very quickly that in order to become a basketball player, I had to develop certain qualities. I had to learn to be patient, I had to learn to listen. I had to learn to follow instructions. And all those uh, qualities continue with me to this day. And they've made me uh, successful uh, over the years. So I'm grateful for all the great coaches I've had over the years, especially my college coach, Coach Lucius Mitchell. He took the kind of interest in me that made me want to excel not only in basketball, but in life itself. He truly uh, made, made me uh, the ball player that I turned out to be because uh, I didn't know how to play when I first went to Kentucky State, so it took a lot of work on his part to, to help me develop. And I miss him a lot. My, some of my teammates used to call him my dad, but uh, it's, it's just that it was the relationship that we developed over those years. I had a chance to play, play with and against some great athletes, and those are the guys that really made me uh, develop into the person that I am today. And uh, I'm also grateful for my loving wife of 45 years, Jessica Peggy Ann Smith, and my, my daughters, Jennifer Tracy and Adrian, and uh, all of my family members, uh, Mauricio, Delia, uh, Eden, uh, Nathaniel and Matthew and my close friends Earl and Doris Jones and and uh, I have so many uh, fans uh, throughout the country that uh, appreciate basketball as much as I have and so uh, I really appreciate the fact that uh, small college basketball th uh, saw fit to uh, remember me uh, and uh, induct me into the small college hall of fame remembering my contribution to the game of basketball. Thank you.